to my channel. Today I'm going to check out to see if children's perfume making kits actually work. Now a few days ago I did a does children's bath bomb making kits actually work video so I'll leave the link to that down below but today I'm going to check out the perfume. I used to use these when I was younger and I thought they were pretty good back then so let's see if I think the same. So first we have some instructions which again I will need and then we just have this small little sachet of things so we have some tweezers some cotton balls we also have the fragrances so we've got jasmine we've got mint and we've got rose oh we've also got a eucalyptus one eucalyptus a eucalyptus one got there in the end and also loads of little I don't know like perfume kind of labby things and also some sprays so that's pretty cool oh we also have other things as well so we've got some gems to decorate the front with and also a good old syringe and we also have a little jug and a little tray thing to put the little test tubes in there okay today I'm gonna make rose scented perfume because I quite like rose water call me granny but I really do like it so firstly what we need to do is apparently grab one of these rose scented paper things in here if I can work out how to open this gosh that is so strong oh okay so I'm gonna grab one so they're infused paper little towel things and apparently what I need to do is take this out like this Ooh, don't want that to go flying I'll pop that down just like that and then pop this into here simple and then grabbing the top again and pushing it down on the paper just like that then what you want to do is then fill up the beaker up to 20 mil. There we go, and the water is warm too. And then what you want to do, I'm just going to move this out of the way, is then squeeze up to 5 mil, so just about there. So I'm going to squeeze some of that up. There we go, I have about 5 mil of water in there. So pretty straightforward so far, going well. And then tip away the excess water. Then grabbing your finger, pop it over the top like this and apparently we need more air. So I'm gonna suck some more air into it. Which is quite hard. Then give it a good shake. God, it's like an arm workout this. Okay, I think that will do and then squeeze the perfume back into the beaker. Yay! Okay, smells like rose though. Oh, it's quite nice actually. Ooh. Because the perfume is a little murky, I'm gonna do the filtering process. So firstly, ditch the bit of paper. There we go. Then taking some cotton wool and then dampening the cotton wool, place this to the bottom. And that, my friends, is going to act as your filter. Now grabbing your test tubes, what I'm going to do is take the lid off and then place it over just like that because what I'm going to do, I'm going to start popping the perfume into the syringe again. Wow, it's looking clearer already. Can you guys see that? <gasps> Amazing. Okay, then I'm going to pop this back in and I'm going to squeeze the bottom. This just feels like a massive science experiment. It's so cool. There we go. So I got the excess out. Now what I'm going to do is just syringe this back up. Okay, this is a bit hard because Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it back into the beaker, I think that's going to be easier for everyone. And then, there you go, syringe it back up and then pop it into the automizer. 
And there we go, we have one rose water perfume. Oh yeah. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna decorate it. So I'm gonna pop a sticker on there. So I'm gonna go for this square, put one little gem on it, just like that. I don't know, you guys figure out what I should call it. What should I call my rose water perfume? Hmm. I'm thinking rosy, but I think that's too obvious. Okay, so the test. Let's see. Oh wow. Okay, so in my own opinion, it's not too strong. So you can definitely tell it's made for kids. You can certainly smell the rose water. Um, but yeah, for kids, pretty good I'd say. There we go guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Personally, I think this perfume studio kit is so, so good. There are a lot of pieces of paper, so your kids or even yourself can make as many perfumes as you want. And it only costs £10. Be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'll be doing so many more of these videos, so hit that subscribe button. Be sure to also follow me on all my social media sites, all the links to that is down below. But as always guys, please make sure that you link, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye! Okay, now I'm gonna tip this into this and hopefully we'll get a big lava explosion. I'm actually really scared. Okay. Oh my gosh! That is awesome! I feel like a proper like scientist right now.